What's going on guys, it's Jack here, and today I'm showing you how to build a realistic looking Lego shelf. This is one of those designs that I'm pretty sure I did not make up, and I've never seen anyone use it, so I don't know why I haven't seen it floating about, because it's pretty cool, and it's definitely very easy to make, but I know a lot of people have trouble aligning the walls properly and using the proper snot techniques to make it flush with the outside walls, and... I'm going on and on and not making any sense. So let's just jump right into it. The first thing you want to do when building this is grab a six by four plate. You can do it in any color because it won't be seen, but I would stick with this size because it's kind of the sweet spot for minifigures. Going right down the middle of the plate, you want to place a bunch of panel pieces. Lay them out the same way I'm doing it because otherwise it's going to look really weird and it's probably not going to work out for you pretty well. Then you're going to want to grab some more panel pieces and make sure the actual panel part is facing inwards towards the other panel pieces we just laid down. That's pretty much it for the actual shelf design, but the most important important part of this design is the way you attach it to the wall. Whatever you do, don't use any headlight bricks. You want to use bracket pieces. And the reason I want to use these instead of headlight bricks is because these allow you to make the build flush up against any other part of the build or wall that's not using a snot technique. You see, the beauty about the bracket piece and the panel piece for that matter is that the bracket and the panel parts are actually half a plate thick. And this allows you to build in snot techniques that go flush up against regular building techniques going up and down in only a one stud area rather than two. This is going to make it so that the only part that's actually extruding from the wall and looks like it's not a part of the wall is the shelf itself. The rest of the panel pieces are actually going to be flush with the wall and they're going to look like they blend seamlessly. But that will cover this quick tutorial, so if you want to see more on how to build more techniques and more builds, I will have a playlist linked down below, but that is it. So as always, thanks so much for watching and most importantly, take care guys.